So I'd like to illustrate an example of how to synthesize the literature in a more concise fashion than uh, what I've seen in some of the examples. So this is a sample from one of your colleagues and it's a good sample. If you look at it here we've got a good direct concise topic sentence. We've got some um, context about a specific study here that directly supports the topic sentence. We've got some more context here of a different study that supports the topic sentence. So we've got multiple pieces of evidence supporting the topic sentence. And then we've got a nice concise summary sentence that is reflective of what the evidence showed that's consistent with the topic sentence up here. So in and of itself, this is a good paragraph by itself, a well-written paragraph and a good example of using the evidence, using the literature to support a particular point. In this case, this point right here, that behavioral skills training is an effective method to improve classroom behaviors by reducing disruptive behavior. The challenge comes when you have a complete literature review that follows this pattern. So every single paragraph has a topic sentence and then a short commentary on one study, a short commentary on another study, and then a um, summary or transition sentence. And it could be two studies, it could be three studies, but it's not really bringing the literature together. So if we look at trying to bring the literature together, the first thing that we want to do is let's just look at what we have in terms of what the actual items are saying. So the first thing we've got is we've got a little bit of a, a background here and then these guys say that there is an, an increase in the appropriate behavior. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that yellow. And when I look down at this next study, one of the things that after you look at, you know, a little bit about, about, about the background, they also found that there was an increase in the appropriate behavior. Now, these guys, Irving et al., also found that there was a reduction of disruptive behavior, which is something different. And when I look down here about Reisner, there's nothing really here about um, the that aspect. So there's nothing about disruptive behavior. So that's the only thing I've got in green. So as I continue, um, this particular student looks and says, you know, while this research is promising, there's some limitations. So that's sort of a third point on that first item and if you look down here with the reasoner at all you'll see that there's a bit of a limitation here and the student continues and talks a little bit more about a limitation here so you can see really these two pieces of literature have three separate points two of the pieces of literature talk about the yellow two of the pieces of literature talk about the blue and then one of the pieces of literature talk about this here in green so how can I rewrite this in a way where essentially I'm trying to put this together so that I've got my yellow together and my green together and my blue together. So I'm just going to put this now into separate pair lines here so you can see the difference. So um, I can basically look at this and... and you know, Irving et al. paired observational learning with BST to reduce disruptive behaviors of six students. Analysis of the data showed that all students. So another way of saying that could be, you know, and found that all students demonstrated an increase in the appropriate behavior. So now that's a complete sentence. If I move that up there, instead of saying additionally, because it's saying the same kind of thing, I can say similarly. Reisner et al., 2014, taught teachers how to do this. And after BST, which is what's basically just been described here, they could actually just go like that. And now you've got two sentences that are talking about two different studies that found that um, BST, behavioral skills training, actually reduced disruptive behavior. Now, 
I can come back and this is where I can say, you know, additionally, or I could say interestingly, but I need to put back in the Irving. So additionally, the Irving at all 2018 study also found that there was, and now I can bring in this reduction in behavior aspect. So additionally, these guys found that there was a reduction in behavior. I could start off here with saying both studies, but since I've already used study here, um, I want to come up with a different uh, word instead of saying both studies. So I could say something along the lines of this line of research. And let's see, it says while this research. So maybe what I should do is actually just delete that and bring that up and say while this line of research seems seemed promising there were many and i don't like the word many here it's it implies that the studies aren't good so i'm just going to change many to several because there were several limitations um with and now it's the study because it was originally talking about the um, irving et al i'm going to say with both studies and the examples that we had for the Irving et al. were kind of generalized. Small sample size, frequent absences, data maintenance. Whereas the ones that the student had for Reasoner et al. were very direct in nature. So I'm going to get rid of those more generalized ones. And I'm going to say, for example, Reasoner... <coughs> at all 2014 an important so let's try to use their language that the student had noted that and we don't need to put the researchers in there anymore noted that because we've already put reasoner so we can get rid of that the variability in teacher experience was a limitation of the study. And then they go on to say the behavioral management experience uh, of the teachers. So let's, now this is a good spot to say additionally again, because I'm building upon this. So additionally, the behavioral management experience of teachers was not controlled prior to the study. Let's see, and the research as evidenced by the fact that the teacher with the most education behavioral management experience showed the greatest risk. So now as I look back at this, let's take a look. So one of the things I noticed right off the bat is I've got additionally here twice pretty close to each other. So instead of saying additionally here, since I'm sort of building up on this point, maybe I could say something along the lines of um, in addition to the increase in, um, what do they call it, appropriate behaviors. Interestingly, the ever Irving et al. study also found. The other thing I note is I've got four example here and I've got four example here. So if I were to try to decide which one of those I get rid of, since I've made a statement here and four example seems to fit a little bit better there, maybe up here I can get rid of this and say one illustration was a study conducted by Irving et al. 
comma, who paired. And so I've, as you can see, I've left the topic sentence the same. I've left the, um, the summary sentence the same. So I'm just going to color those in red because I didn't touch either of those. And then I'm going to go back and just show you the little bits that I added in here. So as you can see, the bulk of what is here were things that the student had already written. All I've done is I've changed the order so that the points that I'm making are together. So instead of talking about one piece of literature and then and the two or three things it says and then a second piece of literature and the two or three things it says, what I've done is I've broken this, the paragraph up into the three points and then I've used the citations as appropriate. So you can see here, I talk about this point in yellow. Then I talk about this point in green. And then I talk about this point in blue. So that's an alternative that folks have to writing what I call the little annotations, followed by another little annotation. And it's okay to do the little annotation followed by a little annotation some of the time but you don't want to be doing it all the time and this is an example of how you can rewrite your how you can rewrite your paragraph based on the points that are being made in each of those annotations